A Memphis teenager is in jail tonight after allegedly breaking into a South Memphis home while the homeowner is sitting right there on the front porch. Hello, I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock, but as WRG's Ashley Paul discovered, the tables turn pretty quickly. She's live at 201 Poplar with the latest. Hi, Ashley. Hey, Steph. Hey, Greg. Well, it turns out that teen realized once he committed that burglary that the way he went in was the only way to get out. The Adams Family theme song may be what keeps Newton here on his toes. But in this case, the person who came to see him certainly was not welcome. He'd done it so fast, I really didn't have time to think. Ronald McLean lives on Trigg Avenue in South Memphis. It was Friday morning around 1030 when he said he noticed a young man wearing a mask and gloves walking through his yard. I said, where are you going? He said, I'm going through your yard to take a shortcut. I said, well, you don't take a shortcut through my yard. This is private property. Before he knew it, he said that man was on his front porch and then bolted through the front door. He runs around me, runs inside my house, and latches the security door, locking himself inside, not realizing there's no other exit but the front door. Which gave McLean plenty of time to flag down an officer who called for backup. It was the easiest arrest they've made in a while with no way out. 18 year old Mariko Townsend surrendered and was taken into custody. And tonight he's charged with aggravated burglary. McLean says this is not the first time his home has been broken into this month though. According to a police report, he came home April 11th to find someone had climbed through his window and stolen more than $1,200 worth of items. Do you think that that's at all related to this incident that happened on Friday? It's a good possibility. Right now, police are investigating whether Townsend is responsible for both break-ins. And tonight, McLean says he and Newton can dance at ease, knowing Townsend won't be back anytime soon. He was trying to take a shortcut, but he got the shortcut that he didn't really want. He got a shortcut to city jail. Now, Townsend is currently being held here on $35,000 bond. McLean says that nothing was taken, but some drawers and closets had been ransacked. For now, for your news leader reporting downtown, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.